action. Uh, and that it, 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 it appears, although it has not been certified in all states yet, that Joe Biden is the winner uh, of this presidential election. That being said, a lot of these folks here, and there are thousands of people, I'll give you a look. We're going to go sort of pointing down towards Freedom Plaza where everyone started walking. The march is on. It started about 15 uh, minutes ago, and they're going to march all the way to the Supreme Court, uh, where we understand there are some uh, folks that are out there from the left who are defying um, this group of folks who believe that Donald Trump should be in office for another four more years. Uh, that is not going to happen by all accounts, uh, all of the electors. Uh, there, is a, there is a number out there that everyone is talking about, 306, uh, and, and that number is the winning number for Joe Biden. He will have that many electors when all of the votes um, have been certified at this point. Uh, but folks here don't believe that. They still believe they have a chance, um, and they are walking with signs like Stop the Steal and walking with signs like Trump for four more years. There are lots of different disparate groups. There are white supremacist groups here. There are regular Americans who just support Trump here. There are legislators here. There are members of Congress here. Uh, there are members of militant groups. You see walking here, you've got the three percenters here. You've got the Oath Keepers here. You've got the far right group, uh, the Proud Boys here. You've got to get a, a, a real sense of why they think Republicans who won in their districts got and were fairly elected and why they think that Joe Biden was not fairly elected. All that being said, in January, we fully expect that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will take the helm as president and vice president of these United States. Erica.